Toshiba Satellite Pro L750 Fan cleanings Remove the battery and get your double zero Phillips screwdriver to remove the all the screws, the covers, pretty much anything that lets you get access to the to the fan. So that was the first was your cover for the RAM and this is your cover for the hard drive, lift it up. There's one screw holds the, the hard drive in place. Remove that and pull it out just like that. Remove your fan. The whole it's held by latches, so just move it outwardly away from each other and lift it up. That's your Wi-Fi. Holds by one screw. Unscrew that and just lift it in forty-five degree angle. This is your DC jack connector. I tell you why you need to remove that now, but simply lift it up. Don't make a mistake of holding it by the cable and lifting it up because that will probably gonna snap it. Unless it's damaged, that's a different story. But simply wiggle it from side to side that it comes off. One screw for the DVD player and just pull it out like that. Then pretty much all the screws from the bottom that you can see. Uh, remove those ones. And yeah, the one I'm using, the, the, the screwdriver that I'm using is electrical screwdriver that I got it about 90 bucks on eBay. It comes with, um, I think about, I would say, I can't remember exactly, but it's about like 80 more pieces of different screw bits. So it's a good, great investment. And it's it comes, the whole thing can be fit in your pocket, so it's so tiny. Not just this, but the, every, every, all the other sets that it comes with. So it's a good investment. The screws from the bottom, most of them are pretty much the same, except the one screw that's under the battery which holds the keyboard in place. <clears throat> the reason you need to do fan cleaning once in a while is that the fan vents, ventilations on laptop is so tiny. So if you move it, if you leave it in a dust area, even if there's like certain, like even if a small quantity of like hair kind of follicles or dust sort of accumulates in the, the vents, then the blockage of the vents speeds up pretty drastically from then on. Like it takes a while to block the fan, but once it's blocked, then the more, more blocking of the fan is even more imminent. That's it. Flip it up and open the lid and lift up the the plastic trim with something sharp or like with your screwdriver that exposes the, the screws for the keyboard. So remove all the screws that held the keyboard in place. And there's about four of them. One on this one was missing. Looks like it's been opened before. Lift it up and the ribbon cable is held by a clip. So lift up the clip and move it out. This is your trackpad cable, the same way you open it the same way. There are a few more screws that holds the palm wrist secured and this is the same size screw as the bottom of your laptop don't be like me it's much more advisable to put them organized so you're easily able to yeah that's my magnet and it helps me magnetize my screwdriver because it loses its sensitivity to magnets over uh, over time and i use the magnets to just rub it against that and or leave them overnight sometime.
<clears throat> remove all the screws and that that's it uh, once you've done that then I'll show you how to remove this palm rest area that's that's your switch button and that's your speaker again don't you don't use your cable to pull it out but use the actual connector to pull it out under the the, the 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 dvd player just pull your finger and lift it slightly so it can get a bit of leverage and just go around and pry it open this is your connection for the lcd cable for the for, for the LCD, lcd display cable move that out of the way and remove your uh, ribbon cable for the usb the right usb and remove a few more screws that holds the motherboard in place before you touch motherboard it's a good idea to touch a metal or if you've got a anti-static uh, wristband then uh, for me i i simply touch a metal and it it's and i it just it just ensures that I'm not going to stuff up the, the motherboard. And also you can just remove the battery and hold the, the switch in like about 20-15 seconds till the battery is fully, the, the, the charge is fully drained from your sister, from your uh, from laptop. So there is one cable under the, the, the motherboard for the Wi-Fi, so pull it out. Okay, let's get to the fan cleaning. In order to clean the fans, you have to remove the heat sinks. Well, at least that's how I found it. Remove the four screws for the CPU and three screws for the GPU and remove the cable for the, for the fan by simply like that. And that's it. Clean any residue or any leftover old thermal paste, both from the GPU, CPU, and the heatsink. Because if you don't, then it's not going to have a better connect conductivity between the, the, the from from the heat between the between the CPU GPU and the heat sinks. So you're not going to have a drastic decrease in the temperature. To clean up the fan, you need to remove the the screws. It's very, very tiny. And the the plastic, the plastic thing that holds it in place, the tape. And there's one screw that's hidden under the, the plastic tape. Turn it around and then there's more tape that secures the, the screws in place. So remove those tapes. And don't worry about that, it's just it's any kind of tapes. It's anti-static tape. So you can use any tapes you have lying around. Yeah, clean up any residue from the fan and that's it guys. Uh the rest of this video is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so if you have any questions, just ask in the, the comments below. Have a good day, guys.
Tschüss.